for this circuit here, we're interested in calculating an expression for the voltage gain. In other words, the ratio of the output AC voltage to that of the input AC voltage. To do this, we'll need to replace this circuit by its AC equivalent circuit. Which will mean all DC sources will be set to ground and Q1 will be replaced with a hybrid by model for a BJT. Okay. In that case, I'll just have an input source VI, which is feeding directly into the base of Q1. Q1 being replaced by that hybrid pi model, which is consisting of a resistor R pi and a voltage control current source given by GM VBE. The emitter of the BJT is now connected to ground through RE as before, but the load resistor RC, instead of being connected up to VCC, it's connected down to ground because VCC is an AC ground. The output voltage appears across it. The first step to derive our expression is to write down an expression for the output voltage. So that's going to be, by Ohm's law, the current flowing through RC multiplied by RC. This current is actually negative because the current is actually flowing in this direction here, i.e. into the negative terminal of RC. Okay, so I end up with this expression here with this negative sign here. We'll denote this by 1. Okay. So, we're still not finished at this point because we need to relate the output voltage to the input voltage. We've just related it so far to VBE. So I'm going to use Kirchhoff's current law at the emitter node, which I'll show with a circle, that's this node here. Okay, so I'm going to write down an expression for the currents flowing into the node. It's going to be VBE divided by R pi plus, of course, GM VBE. And those two currents flowing in must equal the current flowing out, which is given by the voltage across RE VI minus VBE divided by that resistance RE. So from this, I can write down an expression for VBE just by grouping terms. So VBE is going to equal VI divided by 1 plus GM RE plus RE over R pi. And we'll denote this as expression 2. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute expression 2 into expression 1 to give me the following output. Okay, so if I do that, the output voltage is now going to be minus GM RC VI divided by 1 plus GM RE plus RE over R pi. In other words, the gain, which is VO over VI, is going to be approximately equal to minus GM RC divided by 1 plus GM RE since 1 over R pi is very much less than GM, as R pi is in fact defined as beta over GM. 